It was an accident that drew national coverage to the Detroit Symphony Orchestra last month. An audience member yelled a racial slur during a performance of a Charlie Brown Christmas by Cyrus Chestnut. Tonight, the jazz player returns to the DSO. Paula Tutman joins us live with a preview. Paula. Uh, hi, Pamela. You know, this, this, was a, this was a really bad incident. I mean, no one really wants to see the DSO pop up when, when they do a search engine for this racial slur, but that's exactly what happened really across the nation, internationally. In fact, this is a venerable institution. This was a holiday concert. Like you said, a Charlie Brown Christmas music when this horrible thing was said. So obviously the DSO is ecstatic to be able to invite these artists back to say, hey, listen, this is who we are. That's not who we are. Cyrus Chestnut is that kind of jazz pianist. Whether you've been hip to this style of jazz for decades or new to the genre, when his fingers tickle the ivories, feet move, fingers snap. But December 9th, the holiday season last year, as Cyrus and his fellow performers were playing Christmas music at the DSO, a ticket holder in the venue stood up and loudly proclaimed the F-bomb and then used the N-word in a shocking public display of racism. I was shocked. Everybody was shocked. I mean, at first, nobody knew how to process it just because it was so out of character. Patrick Flanagan, a bartender for the venue, still shudders that that kind of racist, bigoted jazz could infiltrate the love of jazz music in any form. I was just disgusted and saddened, and uh, it's just not a reflection of what this place is. I've, I've been working here since 2013, and that's the first time anything like that has ever happened in my stint here. Tonight, DSO patrons will be treated to something extra, not only a concert with Robbie Coltrane and Tana Alexa, but Cyrus Chestnut will open the show as Detroit welcomes him back for a set as a way to defy senseless hate. On his Facebook page four days ago, Chestnut not only thanked his fans for their birthday wishes, but in his soft spoken and gentle way, talked about how music and the fact that he gets to be a part of it is a joy to him year round. I look forward to this new dimension. And um, I look forward to hopefully being able to interface and be a, more of a blessing. With class and flourish, Detroit is happy he's back. Uh, I think it's an important kind of do-over to show that that sort of thing isn't tolerated and that the you know, performance trumps all, you know, hate and uh, ill will. So I think it's, it's a good gesture and it's a, it's a symbolic thing to bring him back. Yeah, you know what? Pure class all the way around for, for everyone other than that person who stood up and yelled those horrible things. Uh, DSO, again, Class Act has not named that person. However, they say they've made contact with them and they are banned from this venue forever. Pamela? All right, Paula, thank you.